Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are opening more Pokemon TCG stuff. Uh, we are going to be opening an Elite Trainer box of Team Up as well as a Team Up pre-release kit. Uh, the reason that I am doing both of these is because the pre-release kit can come with some super sick stuff, especially that promo Charizard, that promo Jirachi. So far, I've done four pre-release boxes, gotten two Zapdoses and two Nidoqueen, so we're hoping to at least get either a Charizard or the super sweet Jirachi out of this one. Uh, we will do this one last, but we will do the elite trainer box first so this is the sun and moon team up elite trainer box uh, so before i actually get opening this i do want to give a shout out to my buddies matt and aaron and michelle they are definitely some of my greatest supporters uh in school and thank you so much to those people for checking out my channel you know just kind of watching it on their downtime they're always supporting me and i just i am super grateful for their friendship they are super cool people and i'm really glad i got to know them over the course of this uh this life that i live here so we have the elite trainer box for sun and moon team up so let's go ahead and just slide out the contents right there so we've got that we've got the super sick packaging and again this is like a mini poster so let's see if i can find where the seam is uh, there's the seam okay let's move you off to the we were we're now working with a lot of desk uh desk space here so let's go ahead and just do a quick peel because I actually like the pack art on this set. Um, I think it's really cool where they do the whole like super cute Pokemon teamed up with a super like vicious looking Pokemon like Pikachu Zekrom, Celebi Venusaur. So here is the pack art. Again, we have the Pikachu Zekrom. We have the Mimikyu and Gengar. Oop, tap the microphone. We have the Venusaur and Celebi and then we have the Snorlax and Eevee. There are a few missing from here, but I still think that packing is just super cool looking. So let's go ahead and put that over here. We of course have our team up players guide, which comes with just some sweet information, uh, some cool things about the set, the team up cards that are in here, some of the other cards that are in here, and let's just wondrous labyrinth. I am actually looking for that card. That's actually going to be a, like a pretty sweet card in my opinion. Uh, just some how to use these cards as well as our super sweet uh, pack guide where they kind of show us what cards come in here. So there's like the awesome Charizard. We have a Gyarados here. Uh, we have the Gengar Mimikyu, Pikachu Zekrom, and let's see, I don't know if they have, do they have the secret alternate art in the back of the pamphlet? So I'm not sure if they do. Erica's Hospitality, good stuff. Um, so I don't think they show it. I don't think they show the alternate art. For, oh yeah, wait, wait, yeah, I think this is it. Um, so this is the alternate artwork for the Magikarp and, oh, hang on, I don't think... I don't think the zoom is working for us yet again. Uh, let's see if we can mediate this problem. I thought it was working from the start, but I guess it might not have been. Uh, so let's go ahead. Okay, it is in autofocus, so it should be able to focus when I zoom it in like that. Unless it doesn't want to. In that case, we're going to have to just do it manually. Very old-fashioned like. Uh, let's see. Let's just mosey it down. All right, I think that's that's the best we're gonna be getting. Uh, so that is the that is the alternate artwork, I believe. Um, let's see, that is the alternate artwork for the Gengar and Mimikyu. Uh, where else are the alternate artworks? The Latios and Latias, super sweet alternate artwork where they are making that heart. Um, and I don't see the Pikachu and Zekrom one. I could be missing it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if they showed in here. To be honest, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, that is, that is some cool stuff right there. Let's go ahead and put this player's guide off to the side here and let's go ahead and crack open this box. So let's go ahead and try, let's try the autofocus again. Let's maybe, maybe the autofocus will like us this time. So I like this box, super sweet. It's got that Pikachu and Zekrom right there. And I like this. I like how they redid all this so that it's nice and organized. It's so sweet. Honestly, this is so good. I really, really like this packaging. Packaging is super sweet, and it's super appealing. And even this. Look at this. This is even appealing to me. Uh, let's see. So we have the awesome Tag Team GX counters. Uh, and let's see here. We've got the dice, which, again, someone kind of told me. Ooh, I almost showed that code there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that code out of there. We have the dividers right here. Again, super sweet looking dividers. 
we have some dice which someone said was like puke colored looking and it's like now i just can't unsee it like i just have to see it now but i think that the uh, dice is actually the the big dice the big counter dice is super cool we have our awesome team up energy which everyone is freaking out about this energy looks super cool uh, i was watching darums the other day and i was like if they have reverse versions that's be super sweet uh, we have the packs sleeves and we have again the counters we'll go ahead and put all this off to the side and then we will get cracking on our packs so by now i hope you guys know how i like to open packs i like to pick the art that i like the most and save it for last so we are going to save the pikachus and zekroms for last we will do then the snorlax and eevees and then we will do the celebi venusaurs so this is the order we're going to go in nice and clean on the side here let's go ahead and put these off to the side and let's crack open our first pack of team up from this elite trainer box I don't think that worked. Nope, that did not work as swimmingly as it probably should have. So let's go ahead and just peel this off to the side. I believe it's like, I think I'm supposed to just take it off to the corner like that and just slip it right out. And then I believe it's one, two, three. This one's an energy, metal energy. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get a good zoom going. Uh, There we go. Oh, nope, we had it and then we lost it. Come on, camera. Do the thing. I'm trying to use like the webcam, which is showing pretty variable results right now. So let's see if I can just manually focus it like how we used to do in the good old days. All right. We have uh, Pidgey. I'm not that old. <laughs> uh, Pidgey, a, a Bronzor, a Poochiena, a Nidoran, a Pancham, a Ponyard Reverse Hollow. So that's actually pretty cool. That was super useful in the Pokemon pre-release. Uh, we have a Pupitar, an Electro Charger, which a lot of people I've seen been using lately. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side of our useful cards. A Charmeleon. Oh, <gasps> we got a Jirachi. Oh, that is a good way to start this video. We start this video off with the Jirachi with the Stellar Wish ability, which is super good. Uh, Stellar Wish allows you to pretty much when this is the active Pokemon lets you check the top five cards for any item card which can include stadiums and supporters I believe and lets you add it to your hand then this Pokemon becomes asleep but if you didn't attach a skateboard to it you retreat it with the skateboard super good stuff I can't believe we opened to that first let's see if we can open into a team up I am hoping for Pikachu Zekrom just because I like that card so much I don't care if it's OP I don't care if it's meta it is Pikachu who is the staple Pokemon of the series and it just i honestly electricity i've loved the element so much for a long time um so it'd be super sweet to get it i don't care about the rarity it's not a big deal to me um i just want the card i just think the card looks super sweet who would not think that that card looks super cool all right so then it is one two three energy card electric energy Ooh, maybe that's a sign maybe that's a sign that we got the pikachu and zekrom right here all right, so for the pack, we got a Larvitar, a Psyduck, a Bulby, a Weedle. Let's see if we can keep going. Um, we have a Helioptile, a Reverse Hollow Charmander, which is super sweet. I actually put that Charmeleon in the wrong spot. A uh, Reverse Hollow Charmander, a Rapidash, which was kicking my butt in pre-release, um, an Evelyn, a uh, Nanu, and an Alolan Muck as our rare. This thing is a pretty interesting card. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may look at the top six cards of your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back into the deck. That card is honestly super good if you're trying to build around it because nowadays so many people run item cards and to be able to discard them is just ridiculous. Like, it could slow down a lot of decks. It slows down decks that use rare candy. It can get rid of... Is it item cards? Uh, yeah, it could get rid of, like, electro powers. It's, like, crazy. I think it's honestly, like, a really interesting effect that can be used, I feel like, in, like, an almost meta-y kind of sense if you build around it. One, two, three. That is the energy, fire energy, and then that goes there. Okay, so we've got a Voltorb, a Klefki, a Charmander, this is a different art than the Charmander we've already got down here. Uh, Mankey, a Lit Litten, the Lit Kitten. Uh, we have a Viridian Forest Hollow, Reverse Hollow, which is actually pretty cool. I think I'm going to put that one actually in one of my decks. A Water Memory, an Omanite, a Kangaskhan, 
and a muck as our rare um this is really not kind of what we want to see just because muck was one of the pre-release cards so it's like oh man people were getting two mucks per like pre-release kit uh but unfortunately i don't know how much standard play it's gonna see all right let's go ahead and pull this off to the side i honestly think that jirachi was one of the best parts of this box so far so we've got a fire energy there and let's see what we got in the rest so we have an execute a Pharisee. A Meowth, a Alolan Geodude, whoop, we missed one, a Grimer, sorry, I missed the Grimer there, uh, we have a Reverse Hollow Jasmine, a Farfetch'd, an Alolan Graveler to go with our Alolan Geodude, a, a Brock's Grid, and I do like this new artwork for Brock's Grid, it, it really seems like they're emphasizing Brock, who really likes Jelly Donuts, um, a Pidgeot as our rare. So it comes with Whirlwind and Spinstorm. Um, so we are four packs down, four packs left to go. We want to hit a Tag Team GX. I feel like that's just always the goal, is to just hit a Tag Team GX. It's super sweet that we hit the Jirachi. I have no complaints about that. That Jirachi is super useful, sees a lot of meta play, and it is, I believe, a lot of people are saying it's the new Tapu Lele. So we'll see about that. Let's go one, two, three, uh, energy? Yeah, fairy energy, and then that card there. Okay, so we have a Grimer, a Pidgey, a Bronzor, a Poochiena, a Nidoran. Oop, let's straighten that up there. Okay, a Blitzel Reverse Hollow, which was again saving me in the pre-release. Uh, Heliolisk, a Buff Padding, a Kabuto. And our rare is going to be a Parasect uh, with Panic Spores put two damage counters on your opponent's confused Pokemon between turns. All right, so we only have just the Jirachi really to show for all this. Let's hope we can hit into at least a GX. I feel like at least one GX per ETB is like a fair amount to, to like ask for. I feel like they should guarantee one GX per because obviously all the GXs aren't the same. They don't value the same. So let's hope we can at least hit one. We got a Fighting Energy there and let's see what we got. So we've got a Litten, Oop. we've got an Amolga with the Nuzzle ability, we've got the Mareep, we have a Vulpix, which looks super cool, a uh, Joltik, a Kabuto Reverse Hollow, which is pretty cool looking too, a uh, Farfetch'd, a uh, Tentacruel, an Evelyn, and our rare is going to be a Pangoro. So, so far we are just hitting blanks. We are not hitting a lot on our ETB, which is kind of sad. The Jirachi is super cool. The Jirachi makes up for a lot of it, to be honest. Like, if we didn't hit that Jirachi, I don't know, like, if this really would have been worth any sort of value, actually, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and take that off there. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Energy? Yeah, there it is. Okay, energy, and then this card here. So we have two packs left, no GXs to show for it. We have a Pancham, a Voltorb, a Klefki, a Charmander, I was about to say Cyndaquil, a uh, Mankey, a Reverse Hollow Aegis Slash. Wait, let me see. I'm pretty sure this one might be actually okay. Royal Guard, this Pokemon takes 40 less damage from attack. Nope, never mind. Not particularly fantastic, but it is a Reverse Hollow Rare, which is cool. A uh, Fairy Charm with the Ultra Beast, a uh, Charmeleon, and I unidentified fossil and our rare is an alolan golem okay so for no energy electromagnetic bomb move any number of electric energy from your bench pokemon to this pokemon this attack does 20 damage uh for each energy you moved up in this way so that's okay but again no gx's we have opened eight packs almost and no gx's just the jirachi to show for it again that jirachi so shows a lot of gameplay but we also want a tag team i feel like again that's just the goal open into a tag team that is the ultimate goal for i feel like anyone who pulls from a team up one two three energy card is a lightning energy oh that might be a good sign I don't know. I don't know how to interpret that, but let's uh, let's take a look. We got a Blitzel, a Squirtle, a Tentacool, a Paris, a Ponyard, a Reverse Hollow Hitmonchan, a Pupitar, a Kakuna, a Nidorino, and a Beedrill, which is actually an interesting card. Destiny Stinger. You can use this attack only if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it. Both active Pokemon are knocked out. Um, so that can be very interesting. It can be used to take out 
uh, like the tag team cards, the team up cards, and instantly knock them out, netting you three prizes to your opponent's one. So we opened an ETB, and unfortunately, the only thing we can really say that was actually worth it out of it was this Jirachi, which I think is rocking at a solid $20. Um, so it's super cool that we got the Jirachi, but to open up eight packs, and that's the only thing we really have to show for it, is kind of disappointing. So let's see if we can open into another Jirachi into our pre-release kit here. So we're looking for Jirachi or Charizard. That is the goal. I don't know what the ratios are, like if uh, Pokemon, the Pokemon company specifically put less Jirachis and less Charizards, knowing that there'd be a high secondary cost on them. I'm not really sure if that's what they were going for, but that definitely seems what it feels like when I went to all these, uh, oh, yep, see, there it is, Nidoqueen, once again, we've got a bad card. <laughs> I don't want Nidoqueens, I just want a Jirachi or a Charizard, come on, Pokemon company, throw me a bone here. All right, so let's go ahead and put this card off to the side, we're going to use that somewhere so we have the Nido queen uh, oh erica's hospitality that is a good card for sure so we'll put that over there communication cynthia another good card uh looker charmander charmeleons see it's like why would you give us this if we don't have charizard um let's see more communications kukui and the grimer line so pretty common stuff um in terms of useful things let's take that out let's take this out and i think that's it i think everything else is just pretty okay but then we get our four packs right here. So here are our four team up packs. We have one of each. So we're going to do it in the same order that we did last time. And let's see if we could pull one, just one team up card, one uh, tag team GX card. I will be satisfied. I have no complaints if we pull just one of those guys. All right. So it is one, two, three energy here is psychic and then one there. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got a Mareep. We have a Vulpix. A Joltik, a Blitzel, a Squirtle, which looks super cool. Look at him just chilling there. Uh, we have a Torah Cat, Reverse Hollow. We have an Omanite, a Water Memory, a Gold Duck, and our rare is going to be a Bill's Analysis. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal up to two trainer cards from there and put them into your hand. Shuffle all the other cards back into your deck. This card can be particularly nasty, I guess, if it's paired with like Lieutenant Surge's, uh, the new Lieutenant Surge card, which lets you play three total supporters, including itself. So you go that, you go into Bill's Analysis, and then you get another supporter. So maybe maybe that is uh maybe that's a valid play i'm not really sure i don't really play the cards more than i just open them all right so let's go one two three energy is fighting and then one there okay so we've got a klefki a charmander a mankey a litten an amolga a mighty enna a nanu a far-fetched a, a lowland graveler and our rare is going to oh ho, ho okay we have oh that's really cool electro charger secret rare that is super cool looking oh my gosh okay so this card is super relevant so i don't know if i actually want to hold on to this card or if i want to sell it but man this thing looks so crisp so crisp around the edges, granted just a little bit of just problems on the side there, but this is super cool. We opened a Jirachi, we opened an Electro Charger. This is pretty solid, even though we did not get any um, Tag Team GXs yet. So we still have two packs to go. If we could pull one Tag Team GX, please give us just one Tag Team GX cards. Give me heart of the cards, come on. Throw me a, oh, I saw something. I saw something. All right, so let's see. Let's go one, two, three energy card and there we have one all right so we've got Pidgey we're just too excited we got Dratini Alolan Grimer to go with our Alolan Muck we have a Ponyta a Mareep a Charmander Reverse Hollow a Brox Grit Pupitar an Electro Charger and oh not a Tag Team GX but we got a Full Art Cobalion gx which is still super cool looking i love full art cards um it is not the tag team gx we are looking for though if we can get just a pikachu and zekrom please please on our last pack which is pikachu and zekrom give us a pikachu and zekrom oh my gosh that'd be crazy that would be absolutely insane to pull a pikachu and zekrom card um so let's see if i can do this one correctly or if i'm just gonna fudge the whole thing up all right there we go i think we did that right one two three energy card boom and then that one there 
All right, so for our last pack, let's see what we got. We got a Pidgey, an Amolga, a Magikarp, an Execute, a Helioptile, a Reverse Hollow Dratini, a Dual Blade. This is the good one with Tool Drop. This attack does 30 damage for each Pokemon tool attached to all Pokemon. Great, interesting deck that I have seen uh, profiled before. Let's actually put that to the side. A Dangerous Drill and an Alolan Graveler. We've got one more card and it is... Ooh, Mr. Mime GX. So unfortunately, no Tag Team GX, but we pulled some fire from the pre-release kit. So magic odds prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. If that damage is exactly 10, 30, 50, all the way up to 250, and then Life Trick GX, heal all damage from this Pokemon. Interesting card, not the Tag Team GX we are looking for. We were hoping for at least one amongst 12 packs. But it looks like we are not just going to be that lucky today. All right, so this was actually a really good pre-release kit. It came with a full art. It came with a secret rare. It came with a regular GX and a hollow trainer. So going over what we got in that one, we've got the Mr. Mime. We've got the Bills Analysis. We have the Cobalion GX. And then we have the secret rare Electro Charger. So this all came from that pre-release kit whereas the only thing we and then we also got the cynthia erica's hospitality as well as the promo nito queen which is not particularly useful <laughs> cry i wish that we finally got one of the charizards or the jirachi but hey you know what in our elite trainer box we most certainly did get a jirachi let's take a look at that real quick so let's go ahead put these all off to the side we have the super awesome team up energy here and yeah some very cool stuff rocking on team up and let's see here let's see if i can just do a solid display of the cool stuff we got so erica's hospitality we've got a cynthia bill's analysis mr mime cobalion gx the needle queen team up and then we've got the jirachi and the electro charger all right let's go ahead and autofocus that and that's it that is it in terms of our team up packs that we've got today this is really cool to actually get this electric charger and the jirachi the jirachi is honestly what i was going for so that's super cool uh, but with that being said that is the end of this video if there are any questions comments or concerns feel free to throw them down in the comments below and i'd be happy to answer when i have the time once more i'd like to give a shout out to my friends matt aaron and michelle for checking out my videos for supporting the channel and for supporting me in real life so thank you so much guys for hanging out and being around um, as always everyone until next time take it easy